Every three years, something magical happens on the beach here in Santa Monica. Now, I'm not talking about the amazing sunny beach days we enjoy here in Santa Monica because you all know that's an everyday occurrence. I'm talking about a one-night-only gathering of some of the most innovative and talented artists in the world, showcasing some of the most unique art you've ever seen. Let's just say it'll make your mind glow. Greg Goldner has more. We're out here celebrating the third time that GLOW has hit the sand here in Santa Monica Beach. Over 200,000 people are enjoying the artwork of 15 local and international artists and it is unbelievable. Whether you came to enjoy the art in the sand or in the streets, or maybe you came to create your own art in the streets, everybody had their own reason for being at GLOW this year. And after a short welcome from the mayor as well as the French Consul General, GLOW was officially underway. Let's GLOW! From a ring of fire in the sky to solar sea sculptures that interact with the audience, GLOW is about being inspired and letting your mind look at things in a completely different light. I'm inspired by flowers and organic underwater sea creatures and different sacred objects in nature and sacred geometry and how they make amazing patterns. And I think it's all really cool and I love the idea of them being like flowers in the day and they look really beautiful in the day and then as the sun sinks you sink to like the bottom of the sea and they all light up. The city is expressing important values about art and its availability for all people. It's about um, this community as a technology hub we know now as Silicon Beach and you'll see a blend of art and technology coming together and in fact this is a community of artists and innovators and what better way to express ourselves than this event. Much like the solar sea creatures that are interactive, GLOW as a whole isn't just about looking at art, it's about interacting with it and experiencing it. You know it's like if you put on a different set of glasses and you kind of see things a little bit differently. Artists can kind of do that for us tonight. They can, we can see all the familiar places that we know, whether it's the carousel or the pier or, you know, just our favorite walk on the beach. And we can kind of see it in a new eye with different lenses because those lenses have been provided tonight by artists. And Patrick Scott's The Rest is Noise experience is a perfect example of what Jessica is talking about. It's called The Rest is Noise. It's a ride through the 20th century through the music of the 20th century. It starts at 1901 and ends in 2000. Everybody's talking about immersive experiences, and I wanted to introduce people that might not know anything about 20th century classical music. So it all came together in my head. And if you're curious whether or not Patrick accomplished his goal of an immersive experience. It's just really experiential, you know? You know, you're just, you're, you know, you're moving, it's lights, it's music, and you know, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to try to connect to Wi-Fi or download an app, it's not technology, you're, you're right here experiencing it. And then there were those who decided to take their glow experience to the next level. Is one of your favorite things about tonight his outfit that looks like it's serious glow? He's definitely a glow guy tonight. Definitely looking like a glow guy. This is He's dressed for the occasion. If you miss glow this year, unfortunately, you'll have to wait another three years before you can experience it again. Why three years? Because something like this does not happen overnight. It takes three years, a lot of passion, a lot of commitment, a vision that we can all together get to the end goal. I know it's a cliche, everybody says it, you know, they say it takes a village, but in this case it doesn't take a village, it takes an entire city three years to produce GLOW. Three years of planning and an entire city coming together to provide people with an all-night unforgettable art experience. I couldn't think of a better representation of Santa Monica. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Greg Goldner. From a ring of fire to a musical trip through the 20th century on the legendary Santa Monica Carousel, GLOW definitely did not disappoint any of the nearly 200,000 people that came out to enjoy. While the event has passed, you can still learn more about GLOW, its artists, and much more at GLOWSantaMonica.org. So if you didn't get a chance to participate in GLOW this time, make sure you catch it next time it hits the sand here in Santa Monica.